What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and there is a brand new Pokra Early Access Bundle. Pokra is a new plant. We're going to find out uh, what she's, it looks like a she, she's all about today and uh, we're going to have some fun of course in battles mode. So let's go ahead and check it out. We're still in Blastberry Vine season. Let's see, we're, actually let's look and see if Pokra, we can read about Pokra before we get her. Uh, let's see over here, there she is. It's interesting that she follows be before the Impair. Pokras deliver piercing, zombie-slowing jabs that add up to a powerful spike launch. Then they rest momentarily before starting again. Pokras scrappy. She's a fighter. She's not afraid to jab below the belt and get the job done. She won't, because that would be cheating. But she's not afraid to, just so we're clear, she says with a resolute glint in her eye. <laughs> she won't do it, though, guys. She's not afraid. Pokra looks really cool, and I guess she's covered in some sort of a uh, some sort of slowing sauce. <laughs> I don't know. She costs 175, uh, toughness 300, does 60 damage. She's part of the Spearmint family, which is interesting. So we're gonna see how she works out. Is she a melee fighter? She might be. I can't tell. I, I don't know. You know, I'm just speculating. I haven't actually seen any footage of her. I haven't played as her. Let's go to the store really quick and get her the early access bundle. And we're going to see, so we got the Impair still. So for $14.99, you can get that bundle. You can also get a level up Blastberry bundle, a Snap Pea bundle. Uh, so yeah, lots of stuff in the store right now. Armament still being featured as as the uh, as the mint this week. So let's get some stuff and then I'll BRB. All right, let's see what Arena is all about this week. Oh wow, I actually went up to Jade League again. That's exciting. I got 48 mints as well, which is also exciting. Uh, so let's see. This is going to be competitive then. Uh, so who, what's featured this week? Is it just it's just Blastberry Vine and Friends versus Zomboss? That's really interesting, but I really want to showcase Pokra. So this is interesting. I get to actually do a traditional showcase rather than just forcing it through battles. But let me look at the um, let me look. I hit the wrong button. Let me go look at the uh, the travel log just so we know what's going on this week. Uh, we'll we'll end with some uh, some arena footage here. But let's go ahead and look at the the uh, travel log and see what kind of stuff was. I guess we got some Wild West zombies at some point. These are all like expired or completed quests that we've uh, already done and now we, we have uh, rewards for. There we go. So we got an Impair Epic Quest. Uh, oh, and you can get 50 Impair Seed Packets. That's interesting because that's uh, not something they've been doing lately. Uh, so that's great that that's back. Um, epic quest for snap you can earn some snap pee packets as well the ancient Egypt entanglements back for gems I'm not gonna do that again because I did that uh, when it came back last time um, At least I'm not gonna do it on camera uh, So yeah, that's really cool lots of stuff to do this week. Um, I guess what I want to try uh, Is just tradition. Let, let's just let's just go for it Let's go into the adventure mode really quick and let's just go into ancient Egypt and see what poker is made of I mean made of okra probably but let's see what poker is made of in terms of her fortitude and what she can do uh, against these bad zombie dudes. Uh, so we're gonna hit level 23, and uh, we're just gonna bring her in along with some traditional plants and uh, try to figure out what she's all about. Show off her special move too. Let's find stage. Uh, so sure, we're gonna bring in. Um, I'm gonna bring in this. I'm gonna bring in uh, Power Lily just in case we need it. I'm gonna uh, bring in the Pokra, of course. Maybe even imitate it just in case we need extra. I don't know. And then um, we're probably actually that's all I'm gonna bring in is Pokra, really. And then I'm gonna bring in uh, some Gold Bloom. I mean, I know I know I gotta bring in other stuff. Uh, let's bring in some Spearmint. And let's bring in sure. And because we can hit it just in case. No, let's bring in a uh, grave buster because we're gonna want to bust up those graves most likely. And let's bring in ice in case we gotta slow anything down. Let's see what poker's all about. Kind of expensive to start off with, but that's okay. Because we brought this, and we should be fine. As soon as poker's ready, we're gonna bring her in. And I'm gonna bring in some sun though first. As soon as zombies show up, that's when I'm gonna bring in poker because I, I don't know which row to put her on yet. Okay, okay, down here. So she's stabbing the uh, the grave. So she kind of builds up. Oh, and then she shoots a projectile. Okay, so she's kind of a mixture of a melee and a shooter. That's interesting. But she can't shoot far away. She has to shoot via the melee. That's okay. Okay. Let's. So that that was just like one hit and dead. What the heck? That was quick. Okay, now she's she's saying. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Oh, I need more sun, so I need to probably put down some more sunflowers. 
I like how she stabs at the graves. I mean, she kills the regular zombies super duper quick. Yeah, wow. Before they can even really get here, honestly. Let's see how she handles this cone guy. Nicely, she handles it nicely. I don't know what I expect. Let's try uh, on him. Okay, so she just shoots out one, two, three. Three of her, of her whatever they're called, the projectiles. Now, let's see, let's see what happens here. I'm really curious because either she's gonna be able to successfully take him out before he burns her or, or not. Let's find out. She slows him down and yeah, wow, wow. Takes him out before she, okay. He can't even burn her because she just takes him out. I am curious how she handles multiple enemies. But for now, this is pretty good. Let's see. Strikes. Nice. Nice. Good stuff all around. Holy cow. Is there anything, any particular row I gotta worry about? No, she can take care, double column of poker can take care of all these guys, no problem. This is pretty good. Pretty straightforward too. Now they're making, okay, yeah, sure. All right. I mean, yeah, I mean, what, what can I say? This is great. Now, I wanna see how she takes care of this bucket head. Okay. Oh, then the second one joined in, so yeah. I mean, this is pretty incredible. Let's see how this is handled really quick. Again, gets them before they even have a chance to burn. I don't even feel the need to use my special right now. But this, this day is also taking a long time. Because I didn't put her close enough. That's why. So the zombies actually have to walk out here. That's why it's taking so long. Because I didn't put her close enough to the thing. So let's put her closer to the battle. Kind of a frontline defense here. Let's use this against... Uh... Nice. No sweat. No sweat. Alright, we got Gargantuars. We're going all out with the attack. Still, I'm going to put one here for the imp. All right, dead. I just had her. Okay, excellent. Not too bad, right? Okay, so Bong Choi, Potato Mine. Okay, whatever. We don't, we got some rewards. That's all that's important. We got some awesome rewards. All right, so uh, let's see what we got now. We're gonna take her to the Pirate Seas, of course. Everyone who watches my videos regularly knows that when I showcase a new plant, I take them to a specific stage to see how they can handle uh, basically a large swarm of weak zombies. Not every plant can pass this test, uh, but we'll see a poker can. She's gonna be a really interesting uh, plant to try out because she's both melee and projectile. So let's give this a go and let's find out what happens here in this situation. Plan your defense and defeat the zombies. Now, so she will sort of be shooting projectiles, which is interesting. So let's give it a go. Um, what else? Do I, it doesn't matter what I bring in because I'm not going to be using anything except for the Pokra. And so what I want to do is I just want to put as many Pokra as I possibly can. And that's all I can possibly do. I hope this is good enough. Uh, I might bump it back one, honestly, just to prevent them from getting extra bites on me. I might put them, put them back one. Let's rock. Now, if Poker can withstand this at level one, that's a great sign, but she may not be powerful enough to withstand this because the problem is, is that the cannons explode and shoot out a bunch of imps, but she has the projectile ability, sort of, and so uh, maybe she'll be able to take out the cannons, but I'm not gonna count on it, necessarily. So let's see, first up, she has to actually make a strike. So, there you go, okay. Next imp, please. No, she takes out the imps before she even needs to launch her ability. So, so far, uh, no, she's not shooting the cannons, so that's gonna be, 
something to really think about. But she's doing a great job at defending against the imps. She's very, very powerful. But this, you know, she basically has the strike through ability. A whole bunch of imps are going to la launch out very soon. I, I, I know this because none of the cannons have been even touched. There we go. Oh, she actually launched one that time. That's interesting. So yeah, so far so good. This is like what I would call a farming situation in which you can just lay back and relax while the poker does all the work. And if any coins are dropped... Oh, she launched again. That's interesting. See, coins right there. Yeah, I think poker's really holding her own here. At level one to be able to do this is great. But it kind of almost expected because she's a melee slash shooter, but mostly melee. It's really cool to have a melee plan that's affected by the spearmint rather than the armament or whatever. She's gonna launch out in the middle. Another coin there. Whoa. All right, now she's launching. Now she's launching some stuff. So many imps fell into the water during that, that shot. The only thing is that the rounds played using poker are seem kind of slow. All right. We're still waiting for these cannons to explode. We're pretty confident that we're gonna win this. I don't know if she's actually taken out any cannons or not though. Okay, here's like the final test. A ton of imps and poker's fine. Poker's fine. Excellent. So what other eras do you guys wanna check out? Because we, we can go into several different ones, but I don't really know, I mean, oh, you know what I wanna do? I wanna see in Dark Ages if that projectile counts as something the Jester can throw back so that would be interesting because normally melees are great for the dark ages because of the fact that uh, the gesture doesn't spin but if you throw a projectile what's gonna happen we're gonna find out all right here we are in the dark ages and really I just want to see the projectile and how it works and how it affects everything uh, I don't really know what it's gonna do but we're gonna find out that's the excitement about it so let's bring in everything that we normally do uh, we need some sun, so I'm going to bring in the sun shroom. I'm going to bring in the... Um, should I bring in... Yeah, I might want to bring in the spike. Oh, I already have it. Never mind. <laughs> the spear, I was going to say the spearmint. Let's bring in the enlightenment. And this all looks pretty good. This looks like exactly what I want, but it makes me want to bring in one more, so sure. How about the blast ray vine? <laughs> so let's see what we got here. And starting up, we're just going to put in a bunch of mushrooms, and I'm going to get rid of, uh, not rid of, but use the uh, enlightenment. We're going to have fun. Here we go. That's going to be enough. That's going to be enough for sure. So here we go. Good hit. I want to see how these things work. I can put these things down pretty quickly. Yeah, you know what? Fine. It's gonna eat me. All right, hold on. Hold up, hold up. All right, let's see what happens. So right off the bat, he attacked the gesture pretty quick, but I want to see what happens when this this thing goes through. Now the gesture spits it back, but. The good news is that the Jester still gets hurt by the uh, Pokra, which is really interesting. But these guys have really strong helmets, but no, they're fine. Let's use this. Here we go. Now they're going to be performing quickly. Launch it. Whoosh. Whoosh. But blocked. Got the wizard pretty quick with that. some more blastberry vines on these things. 
There we go. Just wanted to see what would happen, you know? And the poker's so good. It's so good. I don't know what else to check out, though. Maybe B Big Wave Beach? But, I mean, uh, not really. I don't want to bring in Big Wave Beach. Because poker's not going to really do a lot for us in Big Wave Beach. That's going to be weird. Because, I mean, because, uh, well, I don't know. If I could put a wave, actually, let's try a Big Wave Beach. This is going to be silly. But I'm going to try something extraordinary in Big Wave Beach. I want to try poker way up front. So let's do that really quick. And then after that, yeah, like, I can't think of any other like special situations that are going to come about. Like poker doesn't really add much new other than the fact that it's both melee and projectile. Which, But it's a good one of both. Apparently, well, a good one of melee at least. And it's not an armament style melee, so you get to uh, use... Uh, spike weed to to really ramp it up. So anyway, is it, if this is one we can't lose so many plants, I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. Don't lose more than five plants. That's fine. So I'm, I'm gonna bring in about the same thing. That looks good to me. Let's rock. Uh, yeah. What? Oh, I haven't chosen. Any, okay, we have. I haven't chosen any lily lily pads. Okay, fine. Lily pads coming in. Let's rock. That's fine. I'm probably not gonna use those, but okay, sure. All right, so what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? So we want to bring in mushrooms, of course. Don't worry. And then we want to put a lily pad up close. Pokra! Uh... Pokra, get him, get him quick. Pokra, up front. Let's see about this. Nice. Pokra, up front. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Now, oh, I do worry about the. Okay, well, we're. we're Fine, okay, great. So let's see, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna hit him or not? Wow, they didn't. Pokra got hurt right there, unfortunately. We could try a whole other thing of Pokra. Oh, he's getting eaten right there. Hold on, that, that one's gonna eat. That one ate him. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Wow, okay, hold up. I might lose even more of these then. More than I thought. Oh, that's a temporary one. Why did you do that? Oops. Okay, we gotta be careful. This may not work for us. That's okay. If not, oh, geez. Can all the pokers get these guys? I don't even know. Oh, boy, what's gonna happen? Yeah, we lost. So, anyway, that's okay. I just wanted to see if they could be that, but I, surely when they level up, they're going to be a lot more effective. So I'm, I'm fine not doing that again. Let's do the arena really quick and see what the arena has to offer this week. See if we, if we can find a place for Pokra. I haven't even checked it out. Battles mode. Big Wave Beach. All right, arena. So what do we got? Blastberry Vines, Big Boom Season. Tournaments. Do they, uh. You know, I, I wonder, did it used to be called, like, do they call it battles anymore? Like. And I only ask because, like, I call every video of mine battles, you know? Battles. Anyway, who knows? Let's play. Let's go in. Blastberry Vines, Big Boom Season, Arena. I still call it Battles. Is it not called Battles anymore? Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, compete to see what we got. Let's have some fun. And see what they... Uh, what kind of challenge we have this week. Okay, so we, you know, poker is not going to be useful. I can't, pl I can't put anything up there in the front. And have we already fought this one? I don't know. I don't know the answer to this one. 
Uh, so what we want to do, what I want to do uh, right now, we could either use tor a torchwood strategy or we could use an electricity strategy. I'm keen on, since electricity is boosted, I'm really keen on using electricity. So let's bring that in. And of course, I can't tell if we're going to get more sun. We're probably going to get more sun throughout this. Uh, do we even need Blover? I don't think so. Can we bring in Blover? Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. I'll bring in Blover. And then, um, I'll bring in Goldbloom. Imitated, just in case we really need that. So, this might be fine. Let's see what we got. Ready, prepare your defense. So, I'm going to put in a whole bunch of these. Let's rock. Here we go. Ready, set, plant. Here he is. And, of course, I'll probably do more and more of this. So there's no need for Pokra here. What the heck? Stop. What the heck? Oh, what the heck? You gotta be joking, kidding me. What was that all about? You totally ruined me. Everything recharges really quick, which is good. Holy cow. He totally got me, like, right off the bat. Alright, he got it launched before I could do anything. My opponent already has a higher score than me. I really don't have any other spaces to put this. My opponent's already at three million. What the heck? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to beat this, honestly. So there's a, there's a, well, there's a four million strategy out there. I don't know what it is yet, but it's out there. And I don't think they're giving me any plant food. I probably should have brought in the Power Lily, honestly. I have more than enough sun, but I'm not. This is not a six million strategy at all. What the heck? I got it. Well, I got to find. Well, we're gonna know what they use, so we'll find out. But this is gonna be a loss for me. Three million strategy. What the heck, dude? All right. Goodness gracious. Nine million. They're probably using a, like a Torchwood. If they're using Torchwood strategy, I will not be surprised. I was going to try that, but I wanted to try electricity since it was buffed. All right. Holy cow. So they're at like 15 million. I'm a, I, I swear we've done this before. We're gonna see what the opponent uses, then we're gonna try to replicate a 16 million score strategy. Uh, so they use melons and three peters. And tile turnips. Okay. Uh, that's pretty good. Melons, three peters, the three peters mastered, which is really good. 16 million though. Let's see if I can get close. If I can break 10 million, I'll be happy. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna try that with Torchwood. Jade League. Awesome. Just had to look at that. Um, let's give it another go. I'm, I'm gonna try the same thing, tile turnip. I should have put in tile turnip already, I think, but let's try it. And then, um, yeah, um, okay. So, I don't know if Torchwood's gonna be good, but we'll try it. Torchwood, uh, that, tile, tile turnip. 
Um, should I imitate anything? How about the uh, the appeasement? Let's give this a go. I don't know. Let's rock. Here we go. Let's, uh, here, let's do this. Can I put a tile on there or not? That's okay. I probably should have brought in something else. Anyway, let's, let's rock with this. Here we go. Greetings. No, 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 no. Okay. There we go. I had to do it. All right, we're doing pretty good so far. I'm getting ready to use the tile on. I'm getting ready to use the tile turn up. Don't worry. All right, there we go. Now we got everyone ready for this. Blastberry vine. Soda vine. All right, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna try to focus on this. I don't know, man. I, am I not gonna get plant food from these guys? If I'm not gonna get plant food, what's the point? Okay, so we're at a three million strategy. Yeah, I'm not gonna get any plant food, dude. I need plant food. I should have brought in the, uh, the the power lily, obviously. We can put in more uh, blastberry vines, that's for sure. Don't do it, don't do it. We're having a hard time stopping him. I really wish, so that's seven million, that's not bad. I really wish I brought in the power lily rather than the gold bloom. Eight. So, so, the opponent doubled this score. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Darn it. Ten million, if I wouldn't have gotten destroyed there, we'd probably just be doing a lot better. Oh well. It's at least a 10 million strategy. And I said if I got at least 10 million I'd be happy. But I don't feel entirely happy yet. I should have run in parallelly. I'm such a fool. Wait. There we go. It's gonna be an 11 million strategy, 12 million strategy. So we could probably, you know, we could probably finesse that and get to 16 million. I would love to since that one guy beat me by, you know, with, with that score right off the bat. But we're not using poker at all. So, you know. But that's okay. Uh, but I do want to try one more time. <laughs> Maybe I could bring in the Power Lily imitated. I don't know. We have to bring in the Blastberry. Let's see. Instead of the Gold we're not going to bring in an imitated. We're just going to bring in the Power Lily. Here we go. Prepare your defense, will do. There we go, let's rock. Get ready for it now. All right. The Power Lily is taking some time to recharge.
All right, here we go. What I'm gonna do is is probably not even use the appeasement. Probably just really try to go really hard with all of this stuff. We got a lot of sun. When it looks dire, you know, when they when he starts really ramping up, revving up or something, then then I'm gonna release it. Or let's use it once. There we go. Sure. Here we go. Six million. He keeps wanting to hurt me. He doesn't have the capacity to pull it off. Wow, nine million. 30 seconds left. Twelve million. Thirteen million. Fourteen million. Sixteen million. So yeah, I basically got the opponent's score. I could probably, again, if I just worked on it a little bit more, I could probably surpass it. But you know how it goes. So, uh, but this week we'll focus more on this because uh, I want to do a whole video focused on this battles mode, try to find the best strategy. I would love to break 20 million if I can, maybe even 25 million. I don't know if it's possible, but it feels like it could be if you just get the right order going on with this. But today we were showcasing the Pokra, of course, and uh, we just couldn't really bring Pokra into battles mode this week, unfortunately. This, but next week they'll probably showcase it. And so Pokra uh, seems great. Like, we really seem to do a lot of damage. I wish that we I could play them in the front. Uh, in this particular round, but we can't because you know the big zombie boss is there. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to come back next time uh, for for more episodes of Plants vs Zombies 2. I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit zackscott.shop. Come back next time for more.